for a pass coming up. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for first. Brings up third and four. Yeah. Who, Bruce? Tyree. You got a block, man. Wait, hold up. On third down, here's Kamara. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the he did bounce on the right side for the one-on-one. -on -one. surprise they ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. Well, they gave themselves options there the on the third line. down play and were able to convert well, on that RPO. Hit, Shows a lot of trust with the guy the end, taking though. the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. We've All hit right. the two-minute mark of the second like right. quarter. 14 to 7. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a All visit right. to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. First down, Williams, and he'll be brought down, still, right? losing yardage back at the 40. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. yard line it'll be a loss of a full three yards there and it also brings Jack up Young third boy. down that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. <laughs> Throwing now, Wilson on first down, eluding the pressure right. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Yeah, run that beat. Run that beat. Pick. Wilson. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Yeah. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a good decision here. Just before halftime, 41 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Man, Tyree, get on Brandon Cook. Out of the gun here, it's Cunningham. Yeah, you got it. Look at that. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He's got a man complete. What the? And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. And that one results in 35 yards. Damn cover drops. <laughs> So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. 
Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. For quick pass. I need to get out of this. No run. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. A gutsy call there. Yang's at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. And running room for Kamara on first down as man. he takes his forward. It's a gain of seven there on first down. Second and three coming up. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. At the Rams' 42-yard line. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Falcons. Ricky Williams. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. To Graham now for the extra point. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Yeah, and here comes Diggs. Right. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. He's got exactly what you're looking for, the ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. They keep it in the hands of Foster. Oh, and he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. A gain of 18 on the play. First down, Los Angeles. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he makes it all the way down to the 13-yard line. Uh, A huge play that time for the Rams. 47 yards. Oh, that and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. Bass on for the extra point. It's an RPO. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Quarterback the score, Rams 21. Falcons 14. Tyler's Bass set to kick off. Huh? I said they ain't gonna do that shit. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. Now a crease here as he's passed the 40. And they finally get 
get to him out near midfield, hey. but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, but we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Here's Cunningham. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be on just a yard or two shy of the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. I think the good offensive coordinators in the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. A loss of two brings up second and 12 at the Rams' 33-yard line. On second down, here's Cunningham. To the right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 19 oh, yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. free of one tackle but it slowed his momentum somewhat and he's taken down right after the 11 yard line they give him four yards there it'll be second and six second and six flush to his right looking end zone but it's incomplete he was looking for tyree kill that time and that takes us from second to third down brings up third down and six yards to go Now Cunningham. Flushed out right. So he crosses his body and it's intercepted. Give it to the Eagles wide field junior. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Well, that's it. well, you don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play, and making a bad throw. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit, or you narrow it down too much, and you don't see all the defenders in the area. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. Falcons, 14. Tyler Bass set to kick off. So they'll get another shot on offense this following that pick six. Kick and now the kick is away. Kamara now to return. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. I'm running at their own 25-yard line. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and yeah, last time decent field position through the pick six obviously costly but they can't afford to just bunker in now all right they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense try and press the advantage a little bit this have to be better with the football and he's going to be intercepted a third time picked up for the third time for Troy Benson and it's a big out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. After the interception, here's Wilson. Oh, going from Jefferson downfield. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by the five-time pro bowler, Troy Vincent. Turn comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. 
That is a play they needed in a two score yeah, game here in the fourth quarter. Cool. No doubt about it. They did what they oh, had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. Come on. Come Alluding on. the pressure right. Hands it over the middle. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A nice pickup there. 18 yards. First down, Falcons. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. <laughs> First and ten, Cunningham. Gonna throw deep for the end zone. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Brandon Cooks, 26 yards. And the Falcons turn that interception into a touchdown. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. And here's Shane Graham now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes Diggs. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three yeah. timeouts. So do you run the Bad. football here or no. do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. And you think we're just going to run it through? And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Oh, Adams on the safety blitz. Too fast to handle. Yeah, Third and long. It's Wilson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it. Oh, boy, you call. Look at this. Boy, they get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Oh, you call. Oh, he takes this one back into the end zone. And the second defense has a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands. We want to head the other way. Also oh. instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. But a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? Offensive you should be, <laughs> just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be yeah. careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary <laughs> on that last possession, though. <laughs> Wilson to throw. Going deep for Diggs. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be oh. intercepted. Oh. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? Now we're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. They begin the drive with Williams. Oh, he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. It 
It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Cunningham tosses quickly in the and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. They'll run off first down. It's Williams. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Tackled Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Well, let me run this way. Run this way. They stay on the ground. This time it's Camaro. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage. They do. There he goes, left side. And he's in for the touchdown. They just likely won this thing in regulation. And that score, in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? Out of nowhere, almost, it appears. They get it done. How about that score? Finishes like this. This is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. Yeah, here's Shane Graham now to kick oh, it away they following the touchdown. Weak. Diggs. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. At their own 22 yard line. So Kevin to give us a touchdown. We're gonna make some shape. We got us that fight hand touchdown. Oh yeah. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. So that quickly now signal for the timeout. And it's definitely not looking good, but at least they'll have one final play to hope for that miracle and get him in the end zone. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. One last shot for Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty, yeah, and with that, the ball game is over. <laughs> well, Charles, no this one's going to be hard to digest. Was, you take the lead into the fourth quarter, <laughs> lose that lead, and they felt the like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that, because ass. when you we have a lead in the fourth quarter, all up. you talk about doing is for, oh, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, Something sealing like, it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their life. 21 in the fourth quarter, dog. God. Yeah, we came to be, man. We came to be. God, we came to be that. I said, I'm gonna go get that nigga. Whack that nigga. <laughs> So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the we NFL. We played the ball so balanced. EA Sports. For more, the end. log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Falcons here.